guys. So now, anytime this happens to you in the field, you see this detector strip just flashing. What's up guys, Kyle here. Um, got a Lynx TT750 here to work on from a customer. Uh, we did get a note, Air 3237, incorrect real size. Got the unit here, took my side plates off. We're gonna take a peek, see what's going on. First thing we always do, just move it back and forth and make sure everything feels good. Gonna look at this peel arm as well, make sure that gap's okay. Time to mount it, see what's going on. And we're back. Um, got the cassette here, we're gonna go ahead and put that on there, check to see if we get incorrect real size air. And not sure if you can see what's going on next to me, but take a look at this LED. Flashing. Suspect our incorrect real size air has something to do with this. So it's going through the process of calibrating right now. And it just stopped an E3237. Incorrect real size. Definition of that, the size of one or more reels of ribbon loaded onto the cassette is incorrect. Remove the cassette and check that the ribbon waist core has been fitted and that the ribbon rolls are within the supported limits. Refit cassette and press the clear button below. Printer will automatically calibrate. Not in this circumstance, guys. Um, we suspect that that interconnect board that has the detection... Well, folks, uh, we're back to the basics here. I jumped into the circuit boards assuming that I knew what I was doing, and obviously this Lynx printer had uh, something else in store for me. So turn everything back to normal, and now I'm just going to go through the process to see what else we can find. So I did do, um, you know, I went to our tools, diagnostics, print head, print head health, and I found that we have 18 dead dots. So first off, we know we're going to need a print head here. I also know that I'm going to need a print head circuit board because that was... Uh, trash from before earlier um, we're still getting that flash in the LED and we're most likely still getting incorrect real size and yep all right so incorrect real size um, we could do a little bit more digging here but essentially it says the printer supports a real diameter of up to 110 for normal operation a maximum diameter of 85 millimeters for high throughput also make sure you got a core on the take-up side we've got that um, I'll grab a smaller diameter ribbon let's see All right, so now we've got a much smaller ribbon diameter on there that is nowhere near 85 millimeters or 110, and we got the air again. All right, so we're going to go back through here, see what we can't find. So the next thing I did was I went into my tools, diagnostics, consumables. Found that the ribbon supply diameter and the ribbon waist diameter are both... <laughs> are both measuring 31 and a half millimeters. So this unit thinks that both of them are 31 and a half millimeters in diameter. So it's not seeing any of the ribbon, essentially. Is that 31 and a half is most likely the size of a mandrel with a take up core on it. And so this leads me to believe that possibly the emitter up on top is what's giving us some, some trouble um, after we ruled out that it's not the detecting device and it's not the circuit board, so what is most likely the next cause is going to be this emitter because the emitter shines light down towards that detector. So we're going to take this apart again, uh, throw a new emitter in there and see what happens. Emitter's down here, guys. Well, you got two screws in there. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, wrench, socket wrench tool from earlier. Take this out. 407917. This is the emitter or <laughs> what is now referred to as the ribbon detector PCB. 
Time to test. We've got uh, our new ribbon detector PCB installed. Let's see if that did it. Now again, what we're gonna look for is we're gonna test my knowledge of these things to see if it really does flash a lot like that. All right. See, I don't see it flashing anymore, so I think we may have gotten to that, guys. So now, anytime this happens to you in the field, you see this detector strip just flashing, right? Every two seconds or so, you know. You gotta check that emitter or a ribbon detector PCB. Well, what do you know? Let's go ahead and give it a few test prints just to see. So not a bad print, um, not the best I've ever seen, but we got a bunch of pixels burnt out. So time for a new head. We're gonna throw one in there. That's a wrap for this one, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. This is a Lynx TT750 or a VideoJet 6530. When you have incorrect real size, take a look at that emitter.